Am I dead? I think I'm dead, right? What? We got asked what we're writing our final essay on for today's class, and I replied, but then got marked as absent. That's fucking annoying. I'm sorry. I, I'm sure that, like, there's a lot of that bullshit, like, especially in the past few years with all the online learning and stuff. She didn't like my reply, or she's getting slammed hard with Coove. Yeah. Shit happens, man. I'm sorry. Look at that. Possible one second and 21 millisecond time save. All the time save is here, guys. This is where we're going to save this fucking run. Thank you, Cory. Cory believes in me, so I'll believe in myself. I believe in the power of friendship. Here's the thing that, like, I don't understand. There are so many fucking movies that we watch as kids and stuff where they're like, it doesn't matter how evil the evil is, we can always beat it with the power of friendship and bravery or whatever. And it's like, why can't some enemy just harness the power of friendship? What if what if the what if the fucking big baddie has friends, you know? They always they always don't. Yeah, evil friendship. Like they're always like, you know, some like, you know, everybody that's around them is like a fucking like they're henchmen or they're like they're just yes men to the fucking, you know, Dr. Evil. Isn't that the plot of Despicable Me? Uh, I guess, but like Gru it like I feel like begrudgingly like I, I don't know, at least in the beginning. But then he kind of becomes the hero, right? Is the power of friendship a tangible object? Well, that's, I mean, like, if we're talking about, like, you know, fantastical stories, it, you know, like, I think of fucking, like, Austin Powers, like, I lost my mojo. He's an anti-hero. Yeah, like, I think, I think he's definitely an anti-hero that, I don't know, he's almost, like, Dr. Horrible in that, like, he's a bad guy, but, like, he doesn't really, like, does he really do anything that's really that bad? I mean, has he ever succeeded at doing anything that's really that bad? Happened in the last season of My Little Pony. Yeah, we're talking about, um, we're talking about good show. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure My Little Pony is a wonderful television show filled with laughter and clip, uh, um, magic. He's a menace to all his neighbors and anyone at the coffee shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like, okay, it, you know, like the fucking Austin Powers, he loses his mojo or whatever and they have it in a little fucking vial or whatever because like they fucking go back in time and extract Austin Powers' mojo. Like what if you could like harness the power of friendship and use it for evil? That's like a story that I don't think has been done yet. Somebody who's just you know, evil as fuck, they're not, like, changing or, you know, like, gonna fucking be like Gru and like, oh, I actually like these kids, they're very cute. Somebody who's just like, and now, with the power of friendship, I will be able to defeat any enemy, you know? Pretty, uh, Care Bears channel the power of friendship into tangible energy, I suppose. Oh, you were meaning Gru's relationship with him. I, I, does, does he really, like, are they really his friends, though? They're, those are, like, his henchmen. It's impossible for evil people to use the power of friendship because they're evil. I, do, I don't know. But, like, in a fantastical story, it's all about making the impossible possible, you know? I think it's, I think it's like, if we, you can have, like, fucking wizards doing magic and fucking dragons being bad, like, I think, I think there's something to say of just, like, what if they, what if uh, they can, they can harness the power of friends along the way? Isn't that the plot of Dragon Quest Builders 2? I, maybe I didn't fucking play it. The bad boy is your friend, and y'all use your friendship to take over the world. I'd argue that evil people IRL constantly use the power of friendship. Is it really friendship, though? I guess that, that like, my point is, like, are they really friends, or... There's just money and tax evasion. All right, I'm just going to keep... It's evil friendship. See, that's what I'm talking about. Some people don't have friends. The people they have around them are merely people with similar goals, and they're not real friends. Well, what if that, what if that defines a real friend to you, you know? Because there's some people that they're not looking for what you might think a real friend would be. Some people might say, like, a friend is somebody who I can engage in camaraderie with. You know? Vampires definitely have friendship bonds. I guess that's true. Exploitation of henchmen is a manifestation of evil friendship because the henchmen trust the boss. Maybe. Concept of being evil is putting your needs before others. Right, so I guess what I'm saying is, I think it's boring that like every fucking story ends with like, oh sure, we don't have, you know, weapons of mass destruction, but we have each other. So I'm thinking, what is friendship weak against? 
and how do you we how do you weaponize that so that, that that's not an option <laughs> like so that no band of fucking brothers comes through and is just like well we did it with friendship and a whole lot of fucking luck <laughs> mario party what <laughs> is that that's weaponized friendship smash come on movie ending where they bring ash back to life right so like that's what i'm saying like that's how they they, they fucking the power of love or something made it so ash lived and then mewtwo is like wow I didn't realize that whatever the fuck that was, was uh, whatever the fuck I'm looking at. I am going to change my ways. <laughs> Miscommunication, weaken the bonds between... Okay, but that's very common. Like, you'll definitely have, like, you know, like, fucking evil genius shit where they'll, like, I'm going to break up the party by making them hate each other or whatever. <laughs> yeah, wow, that love shit's pretty pog, not gonna lie. I think that that, yeah, that's definitely a thing where, like, the... the the boss, the the evil man, the or the BBEG, will be like they're weaker if they're separated, right? So they'll they'll like concoct a plan to like I'm trying to think of an example where they'll like break up the friends and then that way and then they have to be like no we have to like move past our differences or something. Guardians of the Galaxy, I guess so. Yeah, I feel like that's that's the case with a lot of Marvel. Cause like, I think that there's like always a case of just like, you know, fucking Tony Stark being Tony Stark and then everyone being like, wow, you're an egotistical impulsive asshole. And he goes, yeah, what of it? And then they break up and then they at the end have to fight together. I'm talking more like he harnesses the power of friendship or something that, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess th that that is kind of the answer. It would be cool to see like something where they make it so that they can't just win with the power of friendship. It, like it's fucking tougher. You have to exploit people's sympathy for their friends. The power of friendship is stronger than any physical force, but friendship is strong. That, dude, I can't accept it. Maybe it's because I'm an evil villain. I'll just never understand. Is a plot point for villains might only work when you got love, hate, smart. I no. I I think you could have some something different i i don't know you make a friendship lich villain yeah i guess you could do that almost like make like something like dementor kiss fucking takes away friendship or whatever maybe you with the power of friendship see like that's like that's something i, I i've been thinking about this time or just like what if what if like part of like it'd be hard because there'd be a lot of role playing involved but like there would be something interesting there like to you know have like an enemy that made it so that your characters like all hated each other and then you had to role play all the like all the party members hating each other like i think that would be kind of fun but i think it'd be tough because some groups aren't really into the whole role play aspect of things the villains in my hero have a strong bond yeah that's true but i guess that's not a case where it, like oh well, I, I i guess i don't know yeah i think that's a good example yeah goku do punch hard though but he also has the power of friendship. No! Am I dead? I think I'm dead, right? No! How in the fuck did I, like, get the, like... <laughs> the one iframe there? <laughs> That's busted. Yeah, that, those are those are some magic frames. I, I was so sure it was over. You think Orion has friendship? Was Orion a friendly guy? Did he share his belt with others? Alter constantly asks Orion if he wants to pipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's different. That's that's very special, friends. Any new strats since PB? Um, we're gonna be trying to one cycle the dragon. Um, something I didn't realize is I can throw a bomb prematurely and hit him with the first one, which gives me a little extra time. Um, but it requires predicting exactly where he's gonna fucking end up, and then just being insanely fast with bomb bomb pumps. Ah! Not a good time to fucking pull a bomb out. All right, fuck. Fuck that. I used up all my luck in that like one fucking <laughs> bomb frame thing. Rest in peace.